Welcome back to another week's website video guide. So in today's video, we're going to have a look at the booking calendar for the booking system on your Wix platform. So if you have um, a Wix website that has the Wix booking system, this video will be beneficial to you with your calendar, how you can change things, rearrange things and adjust certain things. I thought I would do just an updated video of the booking calendar as it has recently changed. Um, from what it originally was in my previous video quite a few months ago So I thought I would just do a new video to show the updates and to help you guide through this So I'm on one on one of my template um, websites Just for the purpose of this video. So what you need to do is on the left hand side is go to booking calendar Just click on that as you can see the layout has changed if you have um, previously worked with Wix and it was the old layout it has changed and updated to be a lot more easier to be able to manage your booking so we're going to start with the calendar so with the calendar all your bookings will appear here you can add bookings as you can say or block time off so you can add an appointment you can choose the service from one of your services the location of course the staff member the start time this is very similar to how the calendar view was previously but again like I said the layout is just a lot more sophisticated and organized the start time so how long would the, um, the scheduled appointment take so as you can see here we've got an hour and a half which will keep out that then you can fill it in with the client's name and client's details of course which you can then go ahead and do which we're just going to do with my details notify the participant with an email so that sends an email to the um, client for their booking to confirm it but I'm not going to send that because it will pop up on my screen while I'm doing the video and then you can add a note to self so have they paid a deposit or how much is the full amount um, is partial payment needed so you can add information there and click schedule and then we just got to do the client's address so I do apologize so we're just going to make up an address 125 Walls Place and then schedule and as you can see that has been booked in now just say we wanted to cancel that again you just click on that you can either cancel session or edit you can click if it's been checked in or a no-show you can edit this by consultation if it's been paid so you can go in and edit all of this information as I mentioned that if you wanted to or you can just go ahead and cancel the session you can put them as a check-in so they've already come in to the salon and um, so they're in and the appointment is currently going ahead so as you can see you can go to the right hand side click daily view staff view so this is showing the staff lineups schedule of just showing appointments so there's different ways that you can view this we're going to show it as weekly but again you can go on to the left hand side here and you can see those drop down options to filter and show you by what bookings are for what so mainly this will be done for locations and staff member so just say you wanted to see only tim's bookings they'll only appear up here and then just say we wanted to only see maya's bookings they'll appear here for example so it's very pretty much straightforward and the same as what the old calendar was you can go forward to the sort of weeks ahead and then do the bookings that way but it's pretty pretty much straightforward compared to the other calendar it's just a lot more neater and a lot more organized you can go in the more actions area and you can update your booking settings which is in one of my videos on my youtube page which i have already done you can, of course, sync your calendar, manage on the go, get booked on Google. So setting up the Google booking system, change color preference, change time zone. You can add sessions by blocking the, um, adding an appointment, which you can do like this as well. But we're going to go ahead on the left hand side on the booking calendar and click on the staff section. So the staff section is how the staff have all the details how they receive their appointments how their hours are and has all their details so as you can see the default staff settings so this is default availability so this is the times of the availability of the salon as I mentioned this is in one of my booking setting videos which you can reference back to so once you're happy with that we're going to go back to booking calendar and staff 
and as you can see you can click here to add staff add a new staff member you can go here you can edit staff member so what we're going to do is just go into tims and edit that you can add a profile picture full name description of maybe what they specialize in and their email address for them their phone number and then this is their availability so you can edit staff availability so we'll save and continue and as you can see we can use custom um, staff hours or de default appointment hours so we're going to use custom staff hours to where he doesn't work on mondays on fridays or thursdays he only works on tuesdays and wednesdays and as you can see it has changed here you can then go in to change the times if you wanted to so you can adjust the times to 10 30 um 12 to 6 10 30 till maybe 3 and again save to update this so you can adjust your staff time and then make sure that that has been saved of course before going to your staff area again and then again you can go ahead and edit anything you need to or add a new staff member as you can see they can't view their sessions currently so you would need to give calendar access so what you do is you send an invite to them so you enter their email address so what it does is every time that a booking comes through under your staff that staff member's name they will get a notification via email and have access to the booking calendar so they can manage their own clients and sessions so what you do is you send in the email send invite and what that does is invites them to the calendar so they can manage their own bookings they wouldn't be able to manage your other staff bookings or the admin bookings that is solely on your login area so by you doing this giving an access calendar to them you then don't need to grant them access to your to your admin calendars just to their specific calendar for bookings for them and that is pretty much it in regards to the booking calendar it is pretty straightforward there isn't much to it it's mainly if you have your bookings full here um, you edit and change things but everything is pretty straightforward if you have any questions please leave your question in the comments below like share and subscribe and any questions please do let me know it's very straightforward how to use the calendar and the staff member section on your Wix back office and I hope you enjoyed this video and there will be plenty more videos from myself